The NBA trade deadline is February 9th at 3 p.m. Eastern, and so that means that teams are coming down to the wire on what they're going to do to add to their roster. And to help us discuss and predict what the Knicks and the Nets may do is New York Post Eric Richter. Eric read the article talking about the Nets. Obviously, Kyrie is gone, but social media is full of speculation on what the Nets could do with KD before the deadline. What do you think could happen? Well, here we go now. This is this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Kyrie's now in Dallas, and now everyone's waiting for that Kevin Durant news. Kevin Durant refused to talk to media a couple days ago. Um, so now we kind of get into the to the weeds a little bit here. Uh, we have front office meeting with Kevin Durant uh, to decide what they want to do. Now, the reason I postulated in the article that Jalen Brown is the spot for the Nets to make a move on KD is for a couple of reasons. Number one, that move would need to be made within the next 24 hours. Jalen Brown is a free agent after this year. The Celtics would undoubtedly re-sign him, but he is due for a massive extension. Five years, $290 million, become immediately one of the top five highest paid guys in the league higher paid than Kevin Durant. And I don't think anybody would argue that Jalen Brown and Kevin Durant aren't exactly in the same talent pool um, that, you know, Kevin Durant's one of the best players of all time. So I think that, you know, this trade specifically, I think it makes the most sense if the Nets were to move KD, they'd have to move quickly. But I would say that that is the one that makes the most sense uh, for right now. I don't think any other move really would make sense. It would be Jalen Brown, maybe some draft capital uh, if the Nets had some leverage in the trade. But that's what I think. I think that the Nets would happily pay Jalen Brown to make him the star of the team. If the Celtics get KD, I'm calling it now, they win the chip. Easy. Hands down, easy. But let's move over to the Knicks. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Let's talk about the Knicks, man. Our guy, we were talking uh, off camera, Obi Toppin has been rumored to be on the trade block for some time now. You think that the Knicks can move on from him? And if they do, if they do move him, what do you think they can get in return? Obi Toppin's our guy. Uh, Obi Toppin's super talented, man. I mean, he's, 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 just behind Julius Randle there um, at the four slot. He's only getting 15 minutes a game. I'd love to see this guy play 30. Um, so that's that's an unfortunate situation for Top, and especially where they drafted him. Uh, but for me, I think the Knicks just have to make a move for a bunch of different reasons. One, we know that the Knicks have been trying to compete for a long time. They've been trying to build a team that can get to the playoffs, which is kind of why I want to talk about Fred Van Vliet over there. You see him on your screen. I would like to see them. I think they can get him for a decent price. You could probably only trade. I postulated one first round pick, the Mavericks protected pick that they got for Porzingis. I, I Obi Toppin, Cam Reddish. Um, that you're not trading a whole lot. Obi Toppin's barely in the rotation. Cam Reddish is out of the rotation. Um, and that pick isn't going to be very good, especially now that Dallas has uh, Kyrie Irving. It's going to be in the 20s. So for me, I'm saying that the Knicks would need to get another score. I know that the defense will be a problem. We can figure that out later. Um, you can even have Fred Van Vliet come off the bench. Like you have Quentin Grimes, who's playing amazing. RJ Barrett's been super inconsistent. Uh, but if you can just sit here and then you have a whole lineup – um, with Fred Van Vliet either off the bench or as the starting two. I think that's that's the spot here for the for the Knickerbockers this year. We're getting closer to this deadline. I'm sure uh, we're all going to be by our phones just waiting to see what blockbuster trades are made. Eric, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Brandon.